Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video is going to show you how to make dynamic blocks with a bit of versatility and a bit of power and we're going to start off right now with a standard toilet block and what you'll see is it's drawn and if I select it you'll see that it's got some extra uh, grips and things you may not be used to if you haven't worked with dynamic blocks before and what these allow me to do is things like move it, flip it, rotate it, so I can get it into position very quickly and easily along the wall where it needs to be. So you can see that it's uh, very powerful, very quick, very easy to use but what this block also does is allow me to change the actual geometry so that aside from being a standard toilet I could also place a urinal instead or a tankless toilet or maybe an ADA elongated toilet each one having the same options to rotate and flip as well so you can see how this could be a time saver if you're designing a uh, bathroom and you have uh, several of these to put in you can just insert one block and away you go just copy it over and this one is now a urinal so you can see how quickly and easy it is rather than inserting a new block and going through all of that process So what I'm going to do is show you how to create this block and it's really fairly easy. And what I'm going to do is go back to the standard toilet block and I'm just going to explode it now. That's X, enter, and now I'm back to my lines, arcs, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is create a block. This is my first step to creating a dynamic block. Just B, enter and I want to pick a base point I want to select my objects and I want to give it a name and I'm going to call this one plumbing fixtures dynamic and press OK but first I just want to check I'm going to open it in the block editor I can do this later it's going to convert to block and away we go so right away I've got my object still because I'm in the block editor. You notice how the background changed. I've got some new menu options and I've got this palette of different options for my dynamic blocks. So what I'm going to do now is press control tab and go over into another drawing that I have open and pick some other blocks to use. So for example, the tankless toilet, I'm just going to press control C, control tab over to my other drawing, and paste it in. And what I want to do is move this so that it has the same midpoint, uh, which will become the insertion point as well of this new block. So I'm just going to place that there, go over and uh, grab another one. I'll get my uh, ADA toilet, select it, control C and control V to paste it back in and I'm just going to move it back over so that's right there and then I'm going to go get the urinal block. Make sure you only select one block at a time or things will get confusing for you. So control C, control V and remember that's just control tab to switch in between. So now I've got my four blocks or my four different types of plumbing fixtures all located onto the same midpoint. And what I want to do now is start adding parameters and these are things that make a regular block dynamic. And I only save rotation for last it seems to kind of override some of the other ones so I'm gonna start instead with flip so I just press flip and looking at my command line because I always look at the command line with new commands I'm learning and the base point of the reflection line so what I want to do is just come up here 
there's my base point and the end point is right along the same line and then I'm going to pick a point right here where the label goes so that's my flip set but what I need to do is add an action to that parameter so now I get the flip action select that button select the parameter and then it says select ox sorry select objects so I'm just going to select everything there and press enter so what I can do now is actually test that what I've got going on is what I want before I get too carried away and too far along in the process so I'm going to hit test and you'll see that I can easily flip back and forth and we're good to go so I'm going to close out of the test block window and I'm back where I was before so now I'm going to add another parameter and this one is going to be for visibility and this is what toggles the different uh, blocks on and off so I'm just going to place this right here beside it so that's all good to go and I'm not going to add an action just yet I'm just going to go ahead and add my rotation parameter while I'm here so what I'm going to do is select my base point for my rotation which is going to be the midpoint at the top here and get the radius of the diameter sorry the radius of the parameter and once again look at the command line and you see it looks for the default rotation angle which will be zero so now I've got the parameter I need to add the action so it's always parameter then action parameter and action so I've got rotate right here so I select that select my parameter and then I select the objects and I'm just gonna make sure I select everything here and you see it's all highlighted and press enter so now I've got my rotate and my flip set my visibility is there but not activated yet so let's go in and test it again and see how it's looking so here we go and if all went well everything gets rotated everything gets flipped and everything's looking good my visibility is there and I've still got my insertion point so I can move it around we're looking good so all I need to do now is add the visibility options and that's done up here I've got a new tab with these different options so I'm going to go to visibility states and you can see it's already got the default one listed so I'm going to press new actually cancel that I'm going to go select this and rename it and this one is going to be standard toilet and this will be the first block that I started with so I press OK nothing's happened yet I've just renamed it but now I get to choose what I want to make visible and what I want to hide or make invisible so I'm going to start with make visible so I've click that I'm going to select everything and now use my shift select so I'm holding down the shift key and I'm deselecting the other three blocks that I added so now all I have selected as you can see by the dotted lines is the standard toilet and all of the parameters as well so with that done I just press enter and away I go so now I can go up to visibility and what do I want to make invisible all the other blocks so that'll be the ADA toilet the tankless toilet and the urinal so I'll select those three and press and you can see how it's kind of working there now if I go to test my block you can see that it just shows the standard toilet now just the way it should everything's still working so let's close out of here and we'll add another visibility state and this one is new and I'll call this ADA 
toilet, American Disabilities Act, and these are uh, toilets in the handicap stalls. So press OK, OK. So now I've got a drop list with two, two options here. So I've got my ADA toilet and the standard toilet. So I want to make sure I've got the right one selected here. So for visibility, I need to select my toilet, my parameters, make sure I get everything here, rotation parameter, rotation grip, and you can feel free to zoom in, make sure you select everything. And that's everything I need visible. So everything that's going to be invisible is next. So now I'm just going to select through here and then shift select the ADA toilet make sure all of those are still going to be visible for me and press enter so now I've got two visibility states on my block so let's test this out see how it works I've got my standard toilet and I've got my ADA toilet so you can see standard toilet, ADA toilet, the ADA toilet still rotates, still flips, we're good to go. So I've just got two more to add and it's always good practice, just keep following along. Add another visibility state. This one is going to be my tankless toilet. Press OK and OK and then go back up and see what I want to make visible. Obviously my parameters, my grips and my tankless toilet which is this one right here. And press enter and go back in to make invisible will be everything here except for the block I actually want to see and just holding down my shift key to get rid of everything there so now I've only got my grips and tabs and my tankless toilet unselected everything else will be invisible. So let's go test it again. See if I selected everything right. And there's my tankless toilet, ADA toilet, standard toilet. And close out of the testing again. So I've just got one more to do, one more visibility state, and that is the urinal. So and always double check make sure show all existing objects in new state the reason you want that is so that nothing's hidden and that way you can easily select what you need to select so press OK OK go back to my make visible and that'll be my grips my parameters and my urinal and press enter back up here to make invisible and that'll be everything but and once again shift select and we're good to go and there's my urinal so everything's done. I'm just going to test it, make sure that uh, the urinal works. There we go. And close it out. So you can see that it's been a fairly straightforward process, but you need to remember the steps. You need to do them in the right order. So it's always parameter, then action, your different visibility states, and you're good to go. So I've tested it, everything's looking good. So now I'm just gonna close the block editor, 
save changes I sure do don't want to do that again so now I'm back in my drawing here's my block I can rotate it change it flip it do what I need to do so I can still insert it work with it however I want to normally just like any other block and we're good to go so that's dynamic blocks for uh, adding a few parameters and visibility states think about all the different ways you can use it next time you're working with blocks think about how your life can be easier how you can save time and show off to your friends that don't know how to use dynamic blocks so anyway Thanks for watching. This has been MyCADSite.com. Please visit the website. Check out over 50 free tutorials that make up a complete course and many, many videos. So we'll see you next time.